Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This is 1991 Toyota truck with approximately 240,000 miles on the clock. And in this video we will see how to replace manual transmission gear oil. It should be easy because I have a lift and that helps a lot. So that will be the engine oil pan where I was just performing engine oil change and right behind that we are looking together on the manual transmission. This is the end of it. That was the driver side and now we are looking on the passenger side. You can see here a speedometer cable attached to it. This one doesn't have electronic sensor but it's that manual cable going in the cabin and showing the speed. Here you can see the clutch. It's a slave cylinder, the bottom one. So that's a little tour for you to get oriented what you are looking at. Now we need to know where is the fill plug and where is the drain plug. The drain plug, hopefully you can see perfectly right now, that's that typical 24 millimeter. And if you look around, that filler and the level, it serves the same purpose. It's actually here. Let me move that camcorder. This is right here and it should be 17 millimeter wrench. To replace that gear oil we always have to start with opening that filler plug. We have to make sure that if we drain the transmission we are also able to fill it with the new oil. So let's go and see how easy it is to crack open this one. So I have ready here my 17 millimeter socket. It's a six point. And let's see how tight this one is. Not bad. There's no reason really for this to be over tight. I already have a, in the case it's overfilled, but I don't expect that. I already have underneath here my oil catching pan. See, it's not leaking. And here you can see that plug with replaceable crush washer. It's made of aluminum. Now we succeeded with removing that filler plug. Let's undo this drain plug. As I said it's 24 millimeter. So I put a large socket on it and let's see how tight was this one. Oh actually wasn't tight much either. Very interesting. I always saw a little bit of fluid on it so maybe that was the reason. Maybe it wasn't tight enough and it was very slightly seeping. Now by the hand that's the drain plug. The washer, that crash washer, I can see it's sticking to the body of the transmission. So always pay attention to the detail, make sure these crash washers will be replaced. Oh, it's moving. Hopefully you can see that detail. Oh my goodness. This is really, really contaminated as I expected. I have no history on this vehicle's uh, service and maintenance. We have no paperwork. This is the first time which came to me and look at that. Also look how many shavings are on that magnet. That plug, that drain plug has a magnet at the very end and there's a lot of shavings on it. I will show you it in the detail on the bench. But yes, that was definitely needed. I'm sure all of you will agree that was correct time. Well, it wasn't correct time, it's too late. It's very heavily contaminated, but it's good we are doing it today. And still observe the detail what is coming out. If you look at it, it's really bad. 
it's almost milky like I will almost say I can see that contamination in it so yeah very interesting people forget that these manual transmissions also need to be maintained here you can see another detail what is coming out of that drain opening it's pretty nasty will you not agree look at that uh huh that was a little bit too much sorry for that that's all i can show i promised you a detail of that drain plug so this is the filler on the right that doesn't have a magnet but the one on the left you can see again a little bit problem with showing the detail but look on top of it right there this is full of microscoping steel shavings from the gears that will need to be clean and I will show you how it looks when it's clean and here you can see it nicely in the detail after I clean it right in the center that's that magnet which is collecting those very small metal shavings and this is almost 10 minutes later and the goo is still coming out so for the sake of the owner and for the sake of this transmission I will take time and let it go for a little bit longer let it drain for longer it always amazes me what kind of abuse the Toyota vehicles will take and they still keep running perfectly isn't it amazing now here you can see the whole thing after 20 minutes there is a very slight drift but I don't have a whole day to be here so I should install a new crush washer on that clean drain plug and install it back and for those who like those numbers are wondering what is the torque both these the drain plug and the filler plug both of them the torque is 37 newton meters now how do you fill this manual transmission with the gear oil when there is obviously no space right here to put the bottle of the gear oil and squeeze it in so what you do so for you who has a, not a shop and all these tools you will buy three of these it's that is it quart yeah one US quart so it's a bottle it's a 75W90 gear oil and you will also buy a pump hand pump which fits in it and you will have to pump it in the manual says that this manual transmission when it's connected to the 22RE which is the four cylinder engine it's supposed to take 2.5 quarts of GL4 GL5 75W90 for me everything is easier I have lift and I have also this special pump so I can just put this in the transmission and we will measure together if it's correct that it will take 2.5 quarts this one is in pints that means we should be full on the five pints and here you can see how I do it with my tools as I said I have this pen filler which nicely fits there and right now I set it to the zero and I will start slowly pumping the full synthetic this one is GL5 75W90 I will start pumping it in I'm observing that filler in the case there was some mistake in the owner's manual but I don't expect it the way it came out I think there will be something like 2.5 quarts 
If it was with the V6 engine, I believe the fill in that tranny it's a 3.2 or 3.4 quarts. So if you do that, you will need more gear oil. Now I'm at the four pints, which is two quarts. Now let's see, I will slow down. I have still that catching pan underneath it because it will overflow from that filler touching five in one more pump. Boom, maybe boom. Let's see. Now the add, so that means I drained a lot of out of it. Let's see. More pumps. And I just observed an opening and it actually started dripping out. That means I'm perfectly filled up and I can close the transmission. The same on this filler plug, it's always good to replace that crush washer and as we mentioned already the torque is the same, it's a 37 newton meters. It's for those who want to have it absolutely perfect. For me this is good enough I can feel it and after I will wipe off everything I'm finished with this service. I hope most of you will find this video helpful and please be subscribed because I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day my friend.